Hi, I'm Annapurna Valivati, Set Scholar from IIIT Bangalore. I'll be presenting our Chess 2021 work title, Higher Order Lookup Table Masking in Essentially Constant Memory. This is a joint work with my supervisor, Srinivas Vivek. The agenda of my presentation is as follows. I'll briefly introduce side channel attacks, followed by masking countermeasure. I'll present our scheme, Higher Order Lookup Table Masking using PRG followed by experimental results. I'll conclude with a brief summary of our work and possible future work. The crypto algorithm must hide the secret to prevent the adversary from compromising the device. But while executing the algorithm on the device, the device may have uh, measurable effects in the form of a leakage so that the adversary can use this leakage to compromise the system. If we consider the side channel attack model, along with the input and output to the device, the adversary can also have the leakage, which is in the form of either the power consumption or timing information or electromagnetic emanation, so that the adversary can mount side channel attack to recover the secret from the device. The takeaway from this slide is nothing but secure algorithms still need secure implementations. So what do we mean by secure implementation? Since the leakage from the device is correlated to the secret, the adversary can mount SEA. If we can make the uh, leakage key independent, by inducing randomness into the computation, this can possibly counter the side channel attacks. This way of inducing randomness into the computation is known as masking. As part of the masking scheme, the secret will be divided into shares, n shares. We'll use additive secret sharing as part of our scheme and the security parameter for the masking scheme will be represented with T. As per the state of art, T is equal to N minus 1. As part of this presentation, our focus will be on software countermeasures to power side channel attacks. Even though the masking scheme secure at Tth order is prone to attacks at T plus 1th order, Chari et al. in their Crypto 99 work demonstrated that the adversary require exponential efforts in masking order to mount SEA. Hence, we can consider the masking order as a sound security parameter. Now we will continue our discussion with security models. How we can model the leakage obtained by the adversary? The probing leakage model initiated by Ishai Sahai Wagner in crypto 2003 as per this probing leakage model we can model the leakage as t intermediate variables exact values of t intermediate variables if we can prove that the t any set of t intermediate variables is independent of the secret then the implementation the master implementation is probing secure whereas as per the noisy leakage model the leakage is modeled as the, uh, the adversary can obtain all intermediate variables, the noisy values of all intermediate variables. If we can prove that the adversary, uh, quote unquote, obtains no information about the secret, then the scheme is secure in noisy leakage model. Duck, Chambosky, and uh, Faust in 2014 bridged the gap between these two models by showing a reduction from probing leakage model to noisy leakage model. We prove our schemes secure in probing leakage model. I'll briefly summarize the various notions of probing leakage model. As per Ishai Sahai Wagner's work, the, uh, to uh, achieve tth order security, we want the number of shares to be 2t plus 1. Further, the bound is optimized optimal level n is equal to t plus 1. In uh, chess 2010 work by Riva Prof and uh, 
Matthew Riva and Emmanuel Prof. Then we have the notion of compositional security, where the bound remains to be n is equal to t, t, uh, t plus 1. As part of CCS 2016, Berthe et al. introduced the compositional security notion. As per this notion, if we prove the individual gadgets, individual gadgets to be SNI secure, we can say that the overall implementation remains SNI secure, which is nothing but compositional security. Now we will see how we can extend the masking technique to block ciphers. So the operations involved as part of the block cipher are linear and nonlinear operations. The linear functions are trivial to implement. We can apply the function to the individual shares. Whereas the nonlinear uh, layer, the nonlinear function, which is nothing but S box for block ciphers, has to be handled carefully for a secure implementation. The approaches from the literature to implement this box can be broadly categorized into two, uh, two uh, categories, circuit based and lookup table based. Uh, before comparing the circuit based and uh, lookup table based schemes, crypto implementation depends on the main factors the execution time it takes, the amount of RAM memory it requires, and the randomness it requires for a secure implementation. Now we will compare the circuit based and the lookup table based schemes in terms of these parameters. The circuit based schemes require almost a constant memory for the implementation, for a mass implementation, whereas the lookup table based schemes require uh, exponential amount of memory in terms of the input to S box and it also depends on the masking order. Whereas lookup table based schemes enjoy the pre-processing. Pre-processing refers to the amount of computation that can be done before the availability of the actual secret. So with the advantage of pre-processing, lookup table based schemes will have only a constant amount of online execution time whereas for circuit based schemes the entire execution happens during the online phase. So the uh, the main problem with respect to the lookup table based schemes is the amount of RAM memory required. So our goal is to optimize the RAM memory required for lookup table based scheme. So we look at the uh, higher order lookup table based schemes available from the literature. Uh, the scheme is proposed by Karon in uh, 2014 from Eurocrypt 2014 and further optimized by Karon et al. in 2018, just 2018. As per the scheme, uh, the size of the lookup table, as I mentioned in my previous slide, requires exponential uh, amount of memory in terms of the input to S box to par K it depends on the number of shares n. Since we require an additional temporary table uh, to uh, construct the randomized lookup table which is uh, the uh, total amount of memory required is nothing but the double of the quantity and uh, this, this is the number of two random bits required for the implementation. If we instantiate this scheme for a specific order of n is, uh, t is equal to 10, I mean n is equal to 11, we need 440 kilobytes of memory for a single AES execution and this amount of memory may become affordable for a resource constrained device. This is a high level overview of uh, higher order LUT scheme from Eurocrypt 2014 where the lookup table will have n columns and it will go through a computation of n minus 1 shift followed by refresh masks and the output of shift and refresh by xi is passed as an input for the next shift and once we finish n minus 1 shift followed by refresh we will have a final lookup to output s of x to output shares of s of x. 
since we want to achieve uh, optimized RAM memory, the idea behind our uh, contribution is we want to make number of columns of the lookup table independent of the masking order. Essentially, we will be storing only the first column of the lookup table. We will not be storing the n minus 1 remaining columns of the table. And the randomness is computed uh, using a PRG. The random values required for the computation are computed using a PRG. So, how actually we can store, uh, we, we can prevent storing the n minus 1 columns of the table is nothing but we will compute the PRG outputs on the fly. This is the idea from our uh, just 2020 paper, second order lookup table compression scheme. Even though uh, our current work is different from uh, our just 2021 work, we are using, we are reusing this idea from our previous contribution. Now we will discuss the challenges to achieve a single column lookup table. It can be observed from uh, Eurogroup 2014 scheme that the uh, lookup table which is output from shift xi is given as input to shift xi plus 1. Since we are not storing the n minus 1 columns of the lookup table explicitly, there is a need to recompute these n minus 1 columns. This will be the additional overhead to achieve optimized memory. Uh, and the random mask we want to generate using a PRG construction. The PRG also should be proving secure. And the input C to the PRG depends on the locality of the circuit. Locality refers to the maximum number of uh, random bits any variable as part of the computation depends upon. It can be observed from the prior works that the locality of the circuit, improving the locality of the circuit will result in optimal seed to the PRG. So we replace the refresh mass with locality refresh to improve the locality of the circuit. So the uh, probing secure uh, PRG constructions from literature are the robust PRG and the multi-PRG techniques. As per the robust PRG technique, we will consider the whole circuit as a single entity and the locality will be computed for the circuit. Whereas the multi-PRG technique uh, is a, essentially multiple non-robust PRG technique, we will be dividing the randomness into subsets. And the circuit and the locality will be computed with respect to the subset. So essentially, we achieve uh, uh, we observe better online execution times using multi PRG technique because the time uh, taken by a multi PRG to output one unit of randomness is lesser compared to the robust PRG technique. We'll discuss about these two techniques in detail in the further slides. Now I will present the uh, high level comparison of our scheme versus uh, the higher order lookup table based scheme. It can be observed that we have only a single column lookup table whereas in the other scheme we have uh, the lookup table having n columns and the refresh masks is, refre uh, is replaced by the uh, locality refresh LR and the randomness is generated from a PRG and once we finish the n minus 1 steps, the final lookup is similar to the original scheme. Now we look at the security analysis of our scheme. First, uh, we will discuss about the higher order lookup table based scheme using robust PRG construction. Since the adversary can also probe the input or intermediate variables of the robust PRG along with the intermediates of the SBOX implementation. We need to carefully choose the input C to robust PRG such that it remains secure against T probing attacks. And the size of the input C to robust PRG depends on the locality of the S entire SBOX implementation. We have proven the security of our robust PRG scheme using 
TSNI uh, notation, compositional security notation. We uh, build the robust PRG using a trivial construction which can be obtained by, com by combining outputs of T plus 1 non-robust PRGs. I would like to mention that uh, the security proofs will work only for a linear PRG construction. We move on to the multiple PRG construction where uh, we need to divide the randomness required for the implementation into subsets. Uh, it, is, it, it is mentioned in the previous slides that the lookup table is constructed in n minus 1 steps, the shift and refresh operations and each of the uh, temporary tables uh, during the shift and refresh have n minus 1 columns. So we divide the randomness required for the pre-processing into n minus 1 square subsets and each of these subsets are generated from a non-robust PRG. The locality is computed with respect to the randomness subset that is one column which is of size 2 power k into k prime bits and the uh, input seed to the PRG is chosen accordingly. We prove uh, the security of the multi-PRG construction in an extended security model TSNA R star. The reason behind choosing the extended security model is that the adversary can possibly leak the outputs of a non-robust PRG using a single probe. So the extended model will address uh, the, simu the uh, related simulation with respect to the uh, leakage of a uh, uh, entire randomness subset using a single probe. This is a high level uh, comparison of the asymptotic complexities of our scheme with the original scheme. You can see that the uh, total number of TRNG is cubic in terms of number of shares for robust PRG construction and it is square for multiple PRG construction and the online execution time depends on the time required uh, for the PRG which is uh, cubic in, uh, for robust PRG and uh, linear for multiple PRG. So we have achieved better online execution time using the multiple PRG construction. This slide present the experimental results of our uh, schemes the, using uh, the multi-PRG approach. Since we want, we would like to demonstrate a 10th order uh, lookup table based scheme on a resource constraint device, we have chosen an ARM Cortex M4 device having 256 KB of memory as our target. It can be observed that for a 10th order secure uh, AES-128 implementation, we need 41.2 KB of memory. This includes the memory to store the pre-process lookup tables plus the input seed to the PRG and our online execution requires around 4 million clock cycles. Finally, I would like to conclude my presentation with a brief summary of our uh, results. Our scheme requires approximately 40 KB of memory for uh, practical orders. We have experimented till uh, 10th order. Essentially, the columns of the lookup table is independent of the masking order and uh, we can say that the memory optimization achieved is independent of the speed of the uh, inbuilt RNG of the device and uh, we also explored the possibility of the RNG versus uh, PRG trade-offs, speed trade-offs. Uh, the target chosen uh, has a relatively fast RNGA. It took around uh, 300, approximately 300 clock cycles to generate a 32-bit random number. So we also explored the possibility of uh, the trade-offs between the PRG and the RNGA to achieve better online execution time. And uh, uh, if we compare our results with an 8-bit bit sliced AES execution, our execution times are 1.5 times faster than the 8-bit bit sliced AES. And our results are almost comparable to the 32-bit uh, bit-sliced uh, mass AES execution. And it will be an interesting future work 
to uh, design a higher order lookup table based scheme which can have a faster online execution time than the 32 bit masked uh, bit sliced aes and uh, you can find the eprint of our work in the following archive and thank you for your attention